Today we're gonna learn how to prototype this cool pop-up overlay in Figma. A few weeks ago, I've created this Disney Plus app UI. If you like to watch the creative process, I'll link it up here or down below in the description. So what you're seeing on my screen is Figma. This is my UI software of choice. I mean, I love it. But you can actually do the same technique on Adobe XD if that's your software of choice. If we take a look, we have a great example of pop-up overlay or even better UI term will be pop-over. If I select this popover group and hide it by clicking on the eye icon next to the layer or using the keyboard shortcut shift command H, we can see the layers we have under the popover window, which are these episodes card list. So it goes without saying the first step is to select all the layers in our popover window and either convert them to a component by hitting on option command K or put them inside of a group by hitting on command G. And let's name this group pop. Now, every time your prototype layer's name has a great meaning, especially if we're going to use Smart Animate. So, for those of you who don't know what is Smart Animate, Figma takes into account the layer's name and properties like color, position, size, and so on. For those layers that match between frames, Figma recognizes what's changed and apply transition to animate between them. Same goes for XD, Adobe calls it Auto Animate. So, let's see how it works. If I duplicate this frame by hitting on Command D, we have to make sure that in both frames we have the same name for the popover group. Now, when we drag it up, we would like to see the overlay, and when we drag down, we want the overlay to slide down. So, in our second frame, I'll take that popover group and drag it down until I can only see this down arrow. A great tip for Figma users is to use the Command Y shortcut to toggle the outline view. It helps to see all the layers outside of the main frame. To sum up, now we have two frames, one with the overlay all the way up and one with the overlay all the way down. Now, to take it to the next level, we would like this arrow to point up to indicate to the user that he can drag up. So I'll select only the arrow icon and hit on Shift V to flip it vertically to point up. Again, we have to make sure that the arrow layer has the same name in both frames in order for Smart Animate to work. And now for the fun part, let's prototype it. Anytime we're prototyping, we have to ask ourselves three questions. The first question is which object. In this case, it's this popover layer here. Get off! The second question is what is the interaction? When it comes to popover window, the interaction is dragging up and dragging down. And finally, what should be the result? Well, slide the popover up and down. Let's do it step by step. I'll click on the prototype tab, select the popover group in the first frame, and drag that plus button to the second frame. In the interaction details, I changed the interaction from on tab to on drag. Let's change the animation from instant to smart animate and choose ease in and out. Now let's do it the other way around. Let's select the popover group in the second frame and drag that plus button to the first frame. Again, I'll change the interaction from on tab to on drag and we can leave the animation as is because Figma defaults the last interaction we created. If you like to preview this on a smartphone, click anywhere on the canvas, select the device you like. I'm gonna choose iPhone 13 mini and hit the play button up here. So I'm gonna grab that arrow and drag up. Nice. Also pay attention to that arrow thanks to Smart Animate it flips vertically and if I drag down the popover slides down. Okay I really hope you like this quick tutorial. If you do give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow and it really helps me to create more tutorials for you. Don't forget to follow my design work on Instagram. Thank you for watching and as always I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and may the force be with you.